Okay, so there will be uh, around 14 to 15 questions that I'll be asking. Mostly those will be from ECGs, X-rays and a few eco images. Uh, you should be as you are working in the cat lab, you are a pivotal part of the cat lab. So you should be knowing these things. There's very basic, basic images that are there. Okay. There are also questions will be in parts. I mean, two or three parts question will be there. You can also answer uh, like that. So he is a 60 year old man. He is a smoker since 30 years, and he has presented to emergency with chest pain since four hours. So what is the ECG showing, and what is the next step? Okay, right. Okay, right. And what is the next step you do for this patient? Okay, so as we suppose uh, she goes in a rural hospital where the PCI facility is not available. And? And what is the bigger hospitals? You should also give some releases if there are no contraindications. So we will give her that she has answered that correctly. So what is happening here? What is the ECG showing? A 54-year-old man, he is diabetic, presented to emergency with abdominal pain, vomiting, he is disoriented, and he has a CDG of 590. You copied answer. R baby. No. Look at the viewers. Infrared LMI with every dissociation is there. And uh, what is uh, what this infrared LMI has specified is DK is present. He has specified abdominal pain, vomiting, and CVG of 790. Infrared LMI is specifying diabetic acidosis. So we can give her marks. He has, he has diagnosed uh, partially right. <laughs> okay, okay. So tell me what this is. No, sorry, not this, this one. Be more specific. Why? Right. Is television also there in B1, B2? B1, B2, and two No. This is anybody else like to? Infrared wall MI, lead 3 elevation is more than lead 2, and with ST elevation in B1. What the ECG suggests, and what other units you would like to take in this patient? Will you like to take, I'm giving two right sided leads for this patient? B4 or B5 or? And why this patient has BP of 8540? No. So no one is answering correctly. This is inferior MI with RVMI. ST elevation in B1 with inferior MI with uh, uh, ST elevation in 3 more than 2 goes in favor of RVMI. And for this patient, we would like to take uh, right sided leads, V3, 4R, V5R, particularly V4R is the most important. And because of RBMI, so this BP is low. And uh, can you tell for this patient, RBMI with 80 by 40, what is the first thing that you will get besides the antiplatelet and whatever loading uh, you are giving and the uh, thrombolysis or whatever? Anything else that first you would give this patient? That no what? No, no, fluids. IV fluids is the first thing that you will. IV fluid is the first thing that you will give. Okay, so nobody is answered. So this is a 45 year old man. He has underwent PTCA three days back and he is now complaining of chest pain and that chest pain increases with coughing and on deep inspiration. What is the GC showing?
Okay. So this is classical ECG of pericarditis. He has a now and he had some MI few days back. Now he has this chest pain that increased with coughing and inspiration. So this is a ECG of pericarditis anyways. No, it's okay. So tell me what this is. 70 year old man he underwent hip surgery five days back. He complains of sudden onset deep sneer and palpitations. Venous thrombosis. Where it will go? Venous thrombosis. Sarah has already said everything. <laughs> you just have to say that diagnosis. So pass. Go on, sir. Pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary embolism. Right. So these so sinus tachycardia, RBBB, RV strain, pattern, right axis deviation, all these are. And the most important, he had hip surgery. So he is immobilized for a long period of time. Almost four day, five days, maybe more than that. So DVT, that has caused pulmonary embolism. So this patient presented to ER with ischemic CVA. He has a history of angioplasty eight years back. So what is the ECG showing? Even if you say that rhythm, that will also be okay. Yeah. And why this patient had a CVA? Irregular RR. Irregular RR. Very good. Very good. Then what do we do in our lab? What? Yeah. 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 You are right. If. Right. Yeah. Some ischemic cardiomyopathy is there and uh, he has AF. So she will get. But Joyce gets all the points. <laughs> Ha. No, what is it? Good. You have to teach other people then. <laughs> Good. So we do elect closer for this year. So what is this? He's showing patient has come to year. He's unconscious. BP is unrecordable. Pushpa. Yeah. Then, yeah. then what? BT. 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 Mike. Mike. No, bolo. BT. Okay. Okay. I will get. But monomorphic or polymorphic BT? What kind? <laughs> You will get a point. Really? Okay, okay. So you will get the point. What will you do for this patient? First thing? Yes. So, yeah. so, so you will get so, the marks. Two good answer. So what is this? 25 year old man presented with palpitation since one hour. Just the diagnosis, nothing else. Wow. Right. Diagnosis. Right. PSVT. PSVT. So you get one point. Okay, so now this X ray. This is a 70-year-old man. He has severe dyspnea, orthopnea, saturation is 75%, BP is high, and pulse rate 130. So what is this X-ray showing? Bola Joe, which I will. Kinetic. Huh? Yeah. This is high. Like in the X-ray, what is it? X-ray, what is it? 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 So the Okay, so this is basically pre-ventilation pulmonary edema. No points. Exactly. Acute pulmonary edema. Okay. The next one. What is this? One year old child with sinusis since the child was six months of age. What is this classical X-ray showing? Texto cardiac. Texto. Why texto? This side is left, this side is right. Is it not dextro? Just the diagnosis. What? It starts with tau. Tau. Top. Yes, you are right. right. Not takai, so top, top. So you so will get a point. So you will get a point. Okay. Now, this is a three month old child. She has mild sinuses. Just look at the size of the heart. Jo sinuses like aata hai, bacha. Kya kya hum log kya thalab mein dekhte hai? ASD. ASD hota hai, sinuses nahi hota hai. 
कॉन्जिटल हार्ट डिजीज एक तो जिसमें इतना बड़ा हार्ट होगा या साइनोसिस होगा ब्लू बेबी होता है टेक्नोलॉजी फेलोज तो वो हो गया जो इतना बड़ा नहीं होता है हार्ट बड़ा है ना क्या सेंसिंग दिस वन टाइम कॉल्ड बॉक्स सेपेट हार्ट नो बॉक्स सेपेट इट्स आल्सो कॉल्ड बॉक्स सो ही यूज़ द हार्ट ओके सो नॉट दिस वन What is this X-ray showing? Forty-five-year-old man. He has a history of taking anti-tubercular drugs twenty years back. Heart attack. Calcification. Who What is this? Uh-huh. You'll get a point. So this is called peri- constant pericarditis with calcification. Yeah. This is constant pericarditis with pericardial calcification. Right. Who answered? लंगफी Lungs, right lung. Yeah, right. You will get right. a point. Hydrogenic. Manavendra will get ten points. So what is this? Child with sinusitis since one month of age. No, no. Oh, it is good. Okay. Uh, this is a classical egg on site tool. Eh? transposition of gate arteries okay that's okay so uh, you know eco you have uh, you know a bit of eco also since you work in the cath lab what is this uh, what is the problem with this valve and what is happening here what is the valve is so abnormal here right you get a point okay these are uh, this slightly tough this uh, 130 year old man He is complaining of exertional shortness of breath since six months. ECG will help in the diagnosis. Pass. Okay. So this was apical cardiomyopathy. Just look at the apical part of the LV. Okay, it's really thick. and this is a 30 year old man with dyspnea bilateral pedal edema palpitation since one year what this can be look at the thickness of the walls and the both the valves are abnormal there is bilateral dilatation yes, uh, diagnosis just that septum is thick septal thick, thick walls thick. are thick valves are also valves thick, are thick. There's atrium, both the atrium are dilated. Atrium are dilated. Typical, but it is. Stenosis of the valve. Uh, no. Both are stenosed. Okay, but that's not the case. But uh, why stenosis will have hypertrophy? Anyway, uh, if your observation is correct, mitral stenosis and tricuspid stenosis exactly look like this until now. Let's see if the movement. And usually they don't have hypertrophy. So you, I think he will get a point. Ah, yes, <laughs> spotted. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. So in, infiltrative cardiomyopathy, am I right? Huh? Infiltrative cardiomyopathy. Ah, infiltrative cardiomyopathy. Rest of the cardiomyopathy. Rest of the cardiomyopathy. So he will get one of them. He will get a point. So this is the last one. Just another child with mild cyanosis. Very classical. I am telling this is also called figure of eight. A snowman. Snowman, have you heard this term snowman or figure eight on x-ray child cyanosed if it is difficult give a pass it could be la yes yes but why in a three months old child la will be so dilated with mitral stenosis 
Uh, what, tell me what is the structure on the right side? Okay, that could that could be LA, but cannot go to the clavicle. You know, that structure cannot go to the clavicle. Usually bulging, usually bulging. It could be LA, but it's not LA. But it's something else. And what is there on the right side? Other side, this straight line. So, so what are the structure on the right side? Yeah, R A. You are right. Then on the top. So when? Yes. No, outer cannot be on this side. Anyway, I think this is TAPVC. Yeah, TAPVC. Supragadia TAPVC. Anyway, so uh, wonderful. Uh, that was the last question. Thank you, Shwetha Bhutta. So I will ask you last question, uh, which will be very simple. That um, suddenly on the monitor there is a straight line. Okay, while doing a cath lab. There is a straight line on the monitor. So, what could be the possibility? One, two, three, four. One, the patient is dead. Second, your patient has gone into VM. Third, his patient's chest lid got disconnected. And the fourth, the ECG machine is at fault. So, out of fourth, raise your hand. Time starts now. ECG. He's the first. If ECG, this is patient condition, we can see the ECG disconnect. Right. So first, uh, when the patients are doing well, and if you don't see any QRS, you look at the, I mean, the ECG basic connections rather than just panicking. The patient loses consciousness, and you are going throwing seizures and jumping from the bed. Definitely jump on the CPR. So you'll get ten marks. Okay, so who is the winner? Yeah. Uh, Joyce, one, two, three, four. Yeah. But Manobendra gave a good five. One, two, three, four. Joyce, you got 60. 50 plus 10, 60. Last one. Okay, so it's my pleasure to announce the winner of today's quiz. So next time you come prepared with more knowledge. And you have to understand that it is a teamwork, nurses, technician, everybody is important. And you have to participate in the team with a lot of knowledge. And I, I can tell you, my nurses, they can perform angioplasty and routine angiography, sheet, everything they can do, all of them, all of them. Uh, but they have to understand that the ECG is also important, the echocardiography, the equipment, the connections. Patients, uh, uh, I mean, condition, uh, saturations, everything is important so that you one day become one of the uh, leading nurses in this country and also can represent India in the national and international forum. Thank you very much. So, your prize money is 15,000 rupees. We'll hand over the check today itself. So, we can go to the Lucky Draw Center right now. Congrats. And our next case will be live case from Apollo. So, 245 exactly will start. Thank you. Thank so, you, sir. Thank you.